There are eight characteristics of good governance that are necessary for the proper management of public administration, and they are participation, rule of law, transparency, responsiveness, consensus-oriented, equity and inclusiveness, effectiveness and efficiency, as well as accountability. In this video, we will list and briefly discuss the eight characteristics of good governance in relation to public administration. Welcome back to Public Administration 101. Proudly brought to you by Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust. As indicated, in this video, we will list and briefly discuss the eight principles of good governance. Now, let's get into today's video. As a starting point, let us explain what good governance is. Governance is a concept that has been around for a number of years and is commonly used by many people. This concept generally means the process of decision making and the process by which decisions are implemented or not implemented. In 1992, the World Bank released a report entitled Governance and Development, which set out its definition of good governance. The World Bank defined good governance as the manner in which power is exercised in the management of a country's economic and social resources for development. Another definition was provided by the United Nations, which refers to governance as the exercising of political and administrative authority at all levels to manage a country's affairs. Governance is also said to comprise of mechanisms, processes, and institutions, through which citizens and groups articulate their interests, exercise their legal rights, meet their obligations, and mediate their differences. Meanwhile, according to the International Monetary Fund, which is the IMF, governance is described as a broad concept covering all aspects of how a country is governed, including its economic policies, regulatory framework, and adherence to rule of law. Specific reference has also been made to democratic governance, which is essentially a process of creating and sustaining an environment for inclusive and responsive political processes and settlements. It is therefore clear that there is almost no consensus on the official definition of governance, because its use often depends on the intended purpose, the people involved, and the socio-political environment of the term. In general terms, governance is considered the decision-making process, and the process of determining which policies will be implemented and not implemented. According to the United Nations, the concept of good governance has eight major characteristics, which are as follows. Participation. Rule of law. Transparency. Responsiveness. Consensus-oriented. Equity and inclusiveness. Effectiveness and efficiency. As well as, accountability. We will now discuss each of these characteristics in more detail. And how each of these characteristics relates to public administration and the affairs of government. But before we do that, please remember to support the channel by clicking on that subscribe button for more content. And make sure you turn on the notification button so that you don't miss out when we post new videos. And also remember to like this video. Now, back to today's video, where we will discuss the eight characteristics of good governance in more detail and how each of these characteristics relates to public administration and the affairs of government. Let's start with the first characteristic of good governance, which is participation. Participation by everyone in the affairs of government is one of the most important cornerstones of good governance. This participation could be either direct or through legitimate intermediary institutions or agents. Participation must therefore be informed and organized. On the one hand, participation means freedom of association and expression, and on the other hand, 
an organized civil society. The next characteristic is that, public administration must be based on, the rule of law. Good governance requires, a fair legal framework, that is enforced impartially. It also requires, full protection of human rights, particularly the rights of minorities. Good governance in public administration, must further be based on, the impartial enforcement of laws, by an independent judiciary, as well as, an impartial and incorruptible police force. The next characteristic of good governance is, transparency. Transparency means that decisions made and their implementation, are made in accordance with the current rules and regulations. It also means that, information is freely available, and directly accessible to those affected by such decisions, and their enforcement. It also means that enough information is provided, and that it is provided in formats and platforms that are easy to understand, and easily accessible. The next characteristic of good governance is, responsiveness. In this regard, good governance requires that, government institutions as well as, processes in place, must attempt to respond to all stakeholders, within a reasonable time frame. Good governance in public administration must also be, consensus-oriented. This means that since there are multiple interest groups, and as many viewpoints, in a given society, good governance therefore requires mediating diverse interests in society, in order to achieve a broad societal consensus, on what is in the best interest of the whole community, and how this can be achieved. It also requires a broad and long-term perspective, on what is required for sustainable human development, and how the goals of such development can be achieved. This can only result from an understanding of the historical, cultural, and social contexts, of a particular society, or community. The next characteristic is that, good governance ensures equity and inclusiveness, within the community. A society's well-being depends on, ensuring that all its members feel that they have a stake in it, and do not feel excluded from the mainstream of society. This requires all groups, but particularly the most vulnerable, have opportunities to improve, or at least maintain their well-being. Basically, public administration must develop policies, that ensure that, everyone has the same opportunity to maintain, and to improve their welfare. Good governance further ensures, the effective and efficient use, of public resources. Essentially, good governance means that, processes and institutions, produce results that meet the needs of society, while making the best use of resources, at their disposal. The concept of efficiency in the context of good governance also covers, the sustainable use of natural resources, and the protection of the environment. Sustainability in this context refers to, both ensuring social investments carry through, and natural resources are maintained, for future generations. The last but certainly not least characteristic of good governance, we will discuss is, accountability. Accountability is a crucial characteristic of good governance. Public administrators must be accountable to the general public and established constitutional institutions. In terms of who is accountable to whom, will depend on the decision or action taken, and whether such decision or action was taken internally, within a public institution, or externally. In general, public sector organizations and institutions, as well as, public administrators, are accountable mainly to those who are affected, by its decisions or actions. It is important to note that, accountability cannot be enforced without transparency, and the rule of law. In conclusion, the eight characteristics of good governance, assist public administration in ensuring that, 1. Corruption is minimized. 2. The views of minorities, are taken into account and three, the voices of the most vulnerable in society, are heard in the decision-making processes of government. Good governance further assist the public administration, by being responsive to the present, 
and future needs of society. Although good governance is an ideal that is difficult to achieve in its entirety. However, steps must still be taken to make this ideal a reality. This will ensure the sustainability of human development. Before we end this video, on the eight characteristics of good governance, and how they relate to public administration. We'd like to remind you to please check out these other videos, on public administration, and the administration of government affairs. Also make sure that, you subscribe to our channel. And remember to like this video. And also to leave us a comment, below this video. You can also continue the conversation, by following us, on social media. At Consult Carlo. Or use the hashtag, Consult Carlo. Until next time. Check out this video. Thank you again, for watching. Carno Consultants. For professional advice. You can trust.